you are looking to get those things done in 2019, get you a new car, get you your credit score up, and get you a new job, <laughs> put this Casilla on. Because she will cure your problems. Period. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are completely new and never seen my face before, hello, I am Sincerely Nico. Welcome back, of course. You see the background, you know what this video is about. I ain't even gotta go into no details. We already know what we're here for. Fenty just launched some new products and I am here to try them out. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, join the squad, be a part of the EXO squad because it's always lit on this side of YouTube. We were lit when we did the original first ever Fenty video to launch on YouTube in the United States. Yes, I was the first one to get a view up, get a video up, and she was sick. If you see my face before for Fenty and you see my face again for Fenty, that should tell you, you should subscribe, sis. Subscribe, period. Also, make sure you give this video a like and a thumbs up as well, too. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. So, let's go ahead and talk about what Miss Fenty done dropped and took my gas bill money this go round, because rent was already paid. Ain't nobody finna hold on to a rent to the 11. If you do, let me know who your landlord is so I can go ahead and um, get, get me a lease if you gonna let me be a little late on the rent without a problem. <laughs> so, Fenty just launched all of their new products on the 11. They launched 10 new additional foundations. They also launched, I wanna say, eight new setting powders, 50 new concealers, two new brushes, and a miniature size Pro Filter Primer, which, we know she gonna stay out of stock at every local Sephora. If you didn't get her from the lunch, cause she was 15 dollars for primer, then you miss out, sis. You miss out. Sorry. <laughs> Again, 50 took some of my money, and I had to go and do it. If you guys didn't watch my original Fenty video, I will leave the playlist of all of the videos that I had dedicated to Fenty only in the I section above, which is right up here. Boop, boop, boop. So you'll also see my original first Fenty video that went live and I was the only person of color to actually review Fenty in the United States back when it originally launched in September of 2017. But your girl didn't get on pre-op for this, but okay, it's all right. I still love Rihanna. Rihanna gets my coin. No shade, but um, if y'all, Y'all watching this, y'all need to know this face was the original king of 400 and I had to show my love for, for the 400. So if you're in shade 400, what's up, boo? I see you. We here. 400 Club. <laughs> um, but I will leave all the playlists in the eye above, so definitely check that out. I do have special guests coming through and trying out 15 and giving their reaction and all that good stuff. So if you're interested in that, it's in the playlist. So without further ado, let's get on into this video. All right, so I went ahead and did my brows off camera, then I also primed as well too. I do not have the Fenty primer because it broke me out and it's heavily scented, so that's why I do not have it. Moving on, I have the Fenty Concealer. This is the Pro Filter. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> so I have the Fenty Concealer right here. This is the Fenty Instant Retouch Concealer, the Pro Filter Concealer. I have it in the shade 420. I'm excited to give this a go. This concealer looks bummed.com. It looks like a miniature foundation. I wish Fenty would come out with it. Well, a half an ounce foundation. If Fenty came out with a half an ounce foundation and market her for a cute little like $19, $20, the game is over for every brand. I'm, I'm serious. Like, Fenty, hire me. I just gave you an idea, honey. Hire me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to cut my brows. Here's a swatch of 420. She looks gorgeous and yummy. She looks everything good in my tummy, for real. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take her and cut my brows with it. So looking at this concealer as I'm applying it, it is neutral. 420 is neutral, just like the foundation. I am not shade 420. I'm actually a little bit more deeper than 420. That's why I chose it as like a natural style highlight, which I normally typically go for. And I'm loving how this is applying and look smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over the eye as well too as a primer. I think this is a really good natural everyday like pop underneath the brow 
or underneath the eye for just a natural highlight type of vibe. It doesn't have too much showam. And that's kind of like what I like to go for. You guys know I can definitely pull out the tricks out of my bag real easy without a problem. But I think this concealer is definitely dope. The finish of it is matte and I am living for it. It still has some wriggle room so it's not as bad as the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm definitely feeling this concealer. So I can't wait to put the foundation on and see how this concealer works with it. So we're going to move on into complexion. We got something to talk about. We got a lot to talk about. So originally when I did my first original Fenty review video, I got to shake that up before we get into it. So originally when I did my Fenty video, I had the shade 470. This was the original initial shade that I started off with. It's neutral based. But girl, I don't know what I was thinking when I picked her up. She is deep, honey. So as time progressed and periodically I checked myself in the mirror, I just felt like I was pulling more red. So I went back and picked up 450, which is right here. And I honestly felt that that was the best match she had to offer for me. I also did purchase the shade 430, but 430 was definitely a little bit too light. For me, I could have made her work, but 450 was something I didn't have to do too much working with. So she recently just came out with a new shade, and this is the shade 445 which is a neutral olive with a hint of golden and <sighs> this is in a bottle like look this is me in a bottle period <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation on. I'm not gonna be doing a one side beauty blender, other side brush. I'm just gonna go into full on brush because I want full on coverage, period. I'm gonna be using the Sephora number 88 brush. And we gonna get on in to her. Just look how she just blends. She is, oh, she is tea. Y'all see this? Am I imagining things or did this just completely disappear on my face? And I don't really have to drag her down so much either. That's the good thing about it is that this literally is me in a bottle. So I'm going to move on into the concealer. Y'all already know how I feel about her. She is tea, but I never placed her under my eye with this foundation. So let's go ahead and do just a little bit. And I'm just going to simply blend that out with my Juno & Co. sponge. So far, she blends like a dream, which I already know she would. And she melts into the foundation very, very well. Even though she is a creamy foundation, I really don't see that much radiance built into her. So it's not as glowy under the eye like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It gives a nice refined skin-like finish, which is definitely that that girl, everybody loves a skin like finish. If your concealer or your foundation or your complexion is skin like finish, you really got a keeper. And this concealer is honestly a keeper. I think I'm gonna go and pick up one more shade lighter, probably 400 for extra brightness. Because this is definitely natural, natural, natural. Like no makeup makeup. I could have went with my shade, which is 445, and that probably would look like I had no concealer on, but just full coverage underneath the eye and smooth finish. I really wanted just a little bit of dimension as you guys can kind of see. It gives me a little bit of brightness underneath my eyes. Like if I did have nothing on, period, and just the light just decided to hit me right here underneath my eye, this is definitely giving me that effect. I'm going to go ahead and add on a little bit more in the areas where I feel that I just need more coverage, which is pretty much right here in that little divot section of the eye. I'm going to take my Sephora number 52 brushes and the Stippling Concealer Brush. I'm just going to use that to blend this out for right now so I can get the maximum color payoff. Now I know that this concealer says it's like smudge proof, transfer proof, and crease proof. I am a strong believer that if you have creases you are going to crease so there's no way for it to be creaseless on me because baby I have so many divots and a no filler so my eyes are 100% organic. <laughs> Alright time to powder. Powder time. 
So I picked up the Fenty Setting Powder Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder and I have it in the shade Hazelnut. Packaging is bomb.com. And then the cool thing about this packaging is that it comes with a shifter too. So the girls who did not know that if this has a shifter or not, because your favorite beauty guru did not say it had a shifter, it does have a shifter in it. So let's go ahead and open her up. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the sponge. Again, my jacket on say dip in, press the excess off, and then I kinda like to go back and forth. You get the same amount of product and press into the skin. Hey, so this this so hazelnut. All right, guys. So I am back and I popped on a pair of lash to complete this look. And I also changed out my lip combination because the other one was a complete fail. Like I honestly felt like I was just being the thought and I just wanted to tone her down a little bit. So for my lip combination, I did apply the Trendsetter Lip Liner in Morphe's Lip Liner in the color Trendsetter. <laughs> Duh. Um, I also dotted the uncuffed in the center and blended her out and I popped on a little bit of the gloss balm just for that ultra sheen and that I can suck your life out of your kind of vibe <laughs> that I like to go for. Just a really cute little pinky peachy nude. You know how I am. You know I'm that girl. I love like a nude lip. That's my thing. Um, so if you guys are interested in my thoughts and final review of the new stuff that just dropped out of Fenty, the powder, the concealer, and a new foundation, then definitely keep on watching this video because... <sighs> so let's start with foundation. Um, as you guys have seen in the beginning, I have three foundations with Fenty. Like, I've tried Fenty on multiple occasions. I tried to find my, my jam in Fenty because I wanted to be that person. But like, yeah, I have on a full face of Fenty. Like, you know, I want to be that person. But Fenty has never been that girl for me when it came down to complexion. So when she came out with 445, which is the shade I'm wearing right now, honestly, I feel like this shade is like my perfect match out of them. And I know that if this does oxidize, it's going to oxidize right on me. And if this is the final look of it, I am so happy that Rihanna finally made a shade for me. I definitely will say that if you are Tara Masu and um, Too Faced going this way, if you are M100 and Cover FX, if you are Mocha and Milk Makeup, Blur Foundation, if you are um, Shade 4, 4.2 and Smashbox, if you are 535 wide and makeup forever. This is for you. This foundation is for you. If you're, I think, at 56 in Sephora's pump foundation, this foundation is for you. I know too much mouth. She did a review on this and she also wears shade 445, and that's pretty much like my identical match. That's my sister, my twin. And of course, my new friend on the ground is Dion. He also popped on this foundation and it looks good as well, too. It pulls more yellow on him. And that's the cool thing about this foundation that, like I said, it's a neutral golden olive, but it looks like olive on me, but on Dion, it looks more yellow. So if you are in that shade range, or if you look at me for a shade range reference, then this foundation is the color you definitely need to pick up for. Of course, um, I do have the concealer in 420. My thoughts on the concealer is that she's a bad bitch, and your mama can't take her. This concealer is really good. I definitely want to pick up a brighter shade to kind of snatch highlight, but I applied this on a pedestrian level, just kind of did a little light concealing, and then I popped on a brighter concealer that I definitely love to use for brighter concealer to get this look here, but applying the first layer of this concealer, I knew she was that girl. Like, I knew this concealer would literally change my credit score. It would literally just, she would, she would increase it by a cute little 20, 30, um, she will definitely like get me a job and she looks good on a resume um, and good at the interviews. She will literally co-sign a car for me. Like this concealer will do that for me. And if you are looking to get those things done in 2019, get you a new car, get you your credit score up and get you a new job, <laughs> put this concealer on. Cause she will cure your problems, period. The concealer definitely is amazing. Um, I don't care about it being creaseless because I got so many different folds underneath my eyes because I smile a lot and I have huge chubby cheeks because I like to eat, <laughs> especially when it's not a holiday season. I still eat good. 
that I really don't care about the crease and I care about the color. I care about the blendability and I care about it melting into my makeup and making my makeup look sickening and this concealer definitely do the job. Does the job. Correction, does the job. She don't do the job, she does the job. The powder. This powder is finna be the jam for 2019. Like, no shade, I tried the patch of powder and the patch of powder is sickening. The patch of powder literally doesn't give me any flashback. This powder melted into my skin, smoothed out all my problems. This powder literally got rid of my head. My under eyes are smooth. My forehead looks perfectly highlighted. My under contour area looks thickening. And it doesn't look like I have so much product on because it literally melted into the skin. And I just think that this powder is amazing. I am, I'm happy I got the right shade because I was scared when swatching them and you know, you're not really supposed to swatch powders because powders really don't do anything. It will snitch on you, but it won't do anything. I was torn between this and nutmeg, and I'm glad I picked up hazelnut instead of nutmeg. But I'm gonna end this video here because I feel like it's getting a little too long, and I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Again, if you guys have not subscribed, please do so. Hit that subscribe button, join me here, be a part of the squad, be lit with me. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and be safe out there in 2019. Bye guys. Like that, that, that. Pay me what you want. Don't act like you forgot.